The first memories of my grandfather was when he, he took me to the Silverstone Grand Prix. Walking down the paddock with him, seeing him speak to the teams, the drivers, and just the respect they had for him. I think then I realised that he must have been quite a special person. Motor racing wouldn't look like it does today if it wasn't for my grandfather. I'm Charlie Cooper, grandson of John Cooper, founder of the Cooper Car Company and the pioneer behind the Mini Cooper. My grandfather's design DNA lives on in the car today. The Cooper element and what Cooper is about maximising the potential of a car, whether it's on a track or on the road, it is part of what Cooper's about and what John Cooper Works, the brand, is about now. Despite my family history and heritage, I never raced. So I'm looking forward to racing in the Mini Challenge, carrying on the family tradition of racing. It was pretty special seeing the Mini in the barn, mm. thinking of Grandad. Yeah, yeah. I think where I've come now, racing. Do you remember going right back to when you were at Goodwood taking your ARDS test? Yeah. Doing my test, just about passed. Good luck, mate. Take right. easy. I'm sure you'll be fine. Hi, Charlie. Hi, I'm David. Hey, good to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Right, are you ready? Yep. Good. So we're going to go out on track. Sounds good. Okay, Charlie, as we cross the line, I want you to do two fast laps. I was so slow then. I suppose the arts test was just all about car handling. Show you're not dangerous. Very good, well done. That was really nicely driven, Charlie. I remember going back to Brands Hatch, how competitive the Cooper Pro class is. Some of the competitors are really good. And I just thought I was way out of my depth. Paddock Hill Bend. It's a scary corner. Yeah. The hardest corner I've done. Um, I thought I was still a bit nervous in the car. The car was still controlling me. The Cooper Pro class is, is giving me a really sound base, I think. And what was it like that day you went and tested the John Cooper at, at Silverstone. I was like, this is a proper race car. We'll have a look on video, we'll get you to the breaking point. You're ahead of the game for me here. You know, you're, you're actually getting to up to speed steadily. Well, this is exactly what we want to do, isn't it, today? What did it feel like the first day you arrived and you got into the car at Monza? What was your first thought? What am I doing here? <laughs> I was still a bit apprehensive. I hadn't quite got to grips with the car 100%, but I was really excited. I thought this is the car I want to race. I got an alright start again in the, in the first race. And I could see the two guys in front of me and I thought, I've got these. This one uh, was good, but uh, I give to you a target for the eighth position. You make a seven. I got told off by the team because they said you should have come eighth because then you'd be on pole. And then the second race in the wet. All afternoon I was hoping it was going to dry up. Is a new condition <laughs> for you? Just as I get used yeah. to the dry. <laughs> Great job. 
I think your granddad would have been really proud to see you, and especially yesterday, how well you did. Yeah, he would have been really proud. It's been a, a real great journey. It's pretty amazing to think how far I've come. <laughs>